Hi everybody, welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, although we are celebrating Halloween, winter is really creeping up on us. That's the scary thing, right? <laughs> Executive Director of West Fargo Events, Mike Amundsen, is joining us to share about the lights, ice rink, and some fun festivities going on this winter. Good morning. Hey, thanks for having us again. Yeah, some people have been celebrating Halloween for like two weeks, so we're kind of right? moving yeah. on when talking about this segment, right? <laughs> we, we just got done with our Halloween uh, big downtown treat street yes. uh, that happened on Saturday and we had thousands out so thank you to everyone who came yeah, uh, but fun. we're ready to move on after tonight yes. in West Fargo. <laughs> Absolutely so tell me a little bit about what's going on. Uh, well our staff uh, just uh, recently uh, undertook the creation of the Lights Ice Rink mm -hmm. which is a really really big project in West Fargo. Uh, every year um, you know typically a ice rink takes 12 to 18 months to build it if you're building a permanent one. Wow. We do a temporary one in about four weeks. Oh my God. And so our staff are, are gonna crush it. They're always really, really good on the operations team. Yeah. Uh, but we started putting up the boards, rolling out all the flexible lines and then getting all of our refrigeration in, in place. And then we just start this process. We work against the weather a little bit and then other times it'll help us like overnight. Yes. It'll help us make more ice that way. So it's a really big undertaking, but we're excited. Wow, who knew that so much work went into that? <laughs> well, oh our gosh. staff do. Yeah, you guys did. <laughs> the general public doesn't. <laughs> You know, um, some of the fun things that we get to do, though, um, you know, a lot of people don't realize that it takes 10,000 gallons of water to make one inch of ice on a hockey rink. Wow. And we have um, a large space out of, out of the lights. It's about 50,000 square feet, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's got drainage slope for rainwater because when we host concerts, we have to be able to deal with that. Yeah. So we actually level that out using gravity and water by freezing um, overnight, and then we have to make a new level floor out of ice before we can even build the ice rink on top of that. Oh my so some places on the plaza might have five inches of ice underneath your feet. Mm -hmm. Other places might be seven inches of ice underneath your feet. Wow. Okay. That's very interesting. So with that, you guys are going to have some fun events this winter, right? Yes. Of course, you're yes. West Fargo yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it, the winter time may be cold uh, in West Fargo, but we're not afraid of that. Uh, we yeah. just make the best of it. And so some of the things that we do at the lights, um, our biggest event, after opening day, of course, which is in early December, mm -hmm. our biggest event is the Essential Health West Fargo Winter Classic. Yeah. It's roughly 100 hockey games over the course of an entire week. Everything from uh, little shavers that are termite age, you know, mm -hmm. four to six year olds, all the way through high school kids that come out. And we've even got fundraiser games for military causes like the Honor Flight. Yeah. It's really, really great. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we pull out all the bells and whistles, get television involved uh, and a whole lot of viewership. And the great thing is we just get to celebrate hockey mm -hmm. and all of the fun stuff that happens over the course of winter break uh, for those kids that are out of school. So we start out with that. We also have the Bar Down Bonspiel, which is a curling tournament yeah. uh, that uh, you don't have to be a professional. We've got all the stuff. You can just come out and try it if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a really fun one as well. Curling is a very social sport. Uh, and then another social sport, hockey. Uh, obviously, hockey's really big in our area. We've got a lot of adult hockey players that like to play in tournaments too. Yeah. So we partner with Hockey Finder, which is an adult hockey group. Mm -hmm. And uh, teams come from all over the place. Uh, Minneapolis, South Dakota, you name it all over the place and we play hockey tournaments out there. The most important and coolest thing about the Lights Ice Rink is that we use that rink with over 30,000 individuals every wow. single winter. We average 30,000 users over the course of the winter mm -hmm. and due to the generosity of over 55 local businesses, those users use it free of charge. Mm -hmm. That's really amazing. You guys are providing so much fun and engagement for our community, right? Yeah, we, we owe a big debt of gratitude to all of our sponsors out there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Essentia and Bar Down. The city of West Fargo is a big player. Uh, Sandy's Donuts and Choice Bank. The list goes on forever. Yes. Um, but honestly, we, there would be fees and charges for that if we didn't have that support. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to teach a kid how to skate, yeah. we've got some rental skates if you don't have your own. But if you have your own, come out and try it. We offer open skating almost every single day in the winter. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, very fun. Well, you know, the weather is cooling down, but that doesn't mean the fun needs to stop, right? Oh, absolutely not. We're just getting going. Uh, we've got a whole series of things that will happen over the course of the winter. Yes. You can expect to see uh, in the downtown corridor in West Fargo, we do some public art displays every year. Oh. We work with a local uh, team of artists that represent the state of North Dakota on the national scale, and uh, they're going to do a large display for us again this winter. And then you can also expect to see other uh, single day events that are going to come out uh, Things such as a, a freezing 5K and things like that are going to be coming uh, very soon with announcements. Very exciting, and we can find that information on WestFargoEvents.com. Every, everything is at WestFargoEvents.com. Okay. You can find a whole list of events. Uh, we would invite you to check back very frequently yes. because even Stage West is a part of West Fargo Events as well, and we do year-round community theater now. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for having us. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, everybody, we have your daily dose of motivation after this short break.